Hey, I am Noah Galloway, and I am here with Health Magazine Social Media. I'm excited to be here, and I'm going to share with you uh, one of my workouts I love to do. I am the kind of person I'm on the go a lot, so a lot of times the only chance I have to work out is in my hotel room, and I don't like to take a break. I mean, health and fitness is a lifestyle that you have to adapt to, and it, it takes small things to get started. And I'm going to show you one of the workouts I do, and then we're going to work on how we can modify it and you can build up to it. Uh, to explain it to you, what I like to do are 10 rounds of pistols, which is one-legged squats, one-arm push-ups, sit-ups, and planks that are hands to elbow. And now I tell you that I do 10 rounds because then it equals to 100 reps of each. And what I do is I don't just go through it, I try to go through it as quickly as I can. Because in fitness and whatever you're doing, whether you're in the weight room, if you're running, whatever it is, you're constantly trying to improve whether it's improving how quickly you do it, how much weight you're using, whatever. You want to be improving, so you want to keep track of that. So to explain what I do is when I say I do 10 rounds of pistols, a pistol is just one-legged squat. Oh, let me make sure I get it. And I'll do 10 of those. And then from that, I immediately, after 10 reps, 10 push-ups, Roll over, 10 sit-ups, and then back over to what I like better than just a plank is down, up, down, up. Now, everything starts back over. So it's 10 reps as quick as you can. Now, I know a lot of you are like, well, I can't do pistols, I can't do one-arm push-ups. That makes sense. Not everybody can. I've been doing this for a long time. So how do you start that? Well, instead of doing 10 rounds of 10, start with five rounds of five. And, you know, instead of using pistols, you can just do body squats where you're going to use both your legs and you're going to squat down. Now, keep in mind, a lot of people, when they do their squats, they will, they'll move their body down. So they won't go all the way down. If you're moving your head, you think your entire body's going. And you wanna make sure that your leg is coming parallel or lower to go down. Now, if that's hard to do, you can put a bench or something that you can sit down on, stand back up, sit down, stand back up. Five reps, jump right into your push-ups. In a minute, I'm gonna show you some things that people do that mess up their push-ups. So straight from that, sit-ups, and then instead of doing the hands to elbow planks, just do a plank. Hold it on your elbows, keep your body flat, and hold that for as long as you can. Now, I love that because if you can hold it for five seconds, then do five seconds, then jump right into your next round. You can hold it for 30 seconds, do that. So hold it for as long as you can, and then jump into the next round. And then you, improve, then you go from there. And then what you start doing is, once you can get all of those full repetition without a break, five reps for five rounds, well then you wanna start adding. You can do 10 sets of the five reps. Once you get that, then start back to five sets with five reps, and then with 10, I'm sorry, with 10 reps, and then you slowly build up to where you can do 10 rounds of 10 reps each. And it's one of those workouts where it's really good to do, it gets your heart rate up, you're pushing yourself, you're challenging yourself, and you're improving. So I can, you know, like I said, I do that in a hotel room. You can do that at your house. You can do it anywhere. And it doesn't take a gym membership. You can go to the park and do it. Get your family involved. This is the kind of movements that I have three kids, 8, 10, and 13. They love doing things like that. Kids get, kids get excited when they're asked to do things, especially if they're helping their parents. I mean, if you're a parent like me, you know that, we're always telling our kids what they need to do, you know, do this, do that. If they can get involved and they're helping us, they get excited. So get them involved, do things with them. And it's always fun for the family to do stuff. And you know, our kids learn from what we do. And I'm always stressing that we have to, if we want our kids to be healthy and lead active lives, they have to see it in us first. So please, I'm stressing you to not only just do this workout, but Get your kids involved, it's really fun. All right, now I mentioned that there's some things that, you know, people mess up. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use Phil, right? Phil, Philip, come on. 
All right, we, we've been friends for a long time. Now, <laughs> all right, get down and do a push-up real quick. Now, this, is, this, this looks good. Now, do a push-up. I want you to lower your head down. Lower your head down. Pull it, come up. Now, when you're looking down, keep looking down. When people do look down, they tend to go down. Lower, lower, stop. They'll lower their head and not as much as their body. Look straight ahead for me. Now, when you look straight ahead, it keeps your back straight. Now, go down and up. That's a much better push-up. All right, stand up for a second. Now, stay right here. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> when you're doing that, when you look straight ahead, your back follows your body. So just like when I mentioned the squat, turn around sideways and show him how you, how you do a squat. Now he's got both of his legs. <laughs> he's going down. Go a little lower. There you go. And up. Now, everything you do follows your head. If you're looking down, look down and squat down. Your, body, your back tends to want to roll and lower down, and you're, you don't tend to want to lower your legs as low. So keep your head looking forward. Keep your posture good in everything you do, and, it's good, and you'll do, go ahead and do five of those. i got to put them to work while we're sitting here. <laughs> How many is that? Three. Three. Uh, one of them, let's say you did two, because that last one didn't look that good. So you want to make sure they're always good. All right, good. You can stop. So you want, to, you want to pay attention to your posture. And you know, when I mention the kids, if you explain that to your kids, do you have any kids? Not yet. No? no. All right. Don't talk. Just nod. We don't need to hear you. Um, so <laughs> um, if you have kids, explain that to them. And then what's good about having your kids there, it's just like going to the gym and having a workout partner. Workout partner is good because you can see things that others can't. And so if you have your kids and you explain that to them, I know I have a 10-year-old that if I tell him this is how it's supposed to be done and I'm messing up, he's gonna, call me out. he's gonna call me out on it. So that's where it's good to get others involved in doing it because they can spot those things and see them if you can't. And it's, but always pay attention to where you're looking. The push-ups, that's a pet peeve of mine. People tend to lower their head and not their body. You want your chest coming all the way down. Get down again, let's show it from the knees. Now, this is where you're probably gonna wanna start if you haven't been doing any push-ups. You can start on your knees so it takes a lot of the weight off. Look straight ahead and give me five push-ups. Good, see, and this is a much easier movement when I'm putting your knees down. So you wanna start here. Everything you're doing is building. So just like we starting with five reps for five rounds, you can start with these modified movements. So he's doing the push-ups from his knees. Like I said before, the squats, you can use a chair or a bench low enough that you can squat down and stand up. You waiting for me to tell you to get up? Yeah, go ahead and get up. All right, so we got that, and then as soon as you do your push-ups, you roll right over into your sit-ups. Go ahead, go ahead, since we got here, might as well put you through a workout. So you got your sit-ups. Now, here's something that drives me crazy about sit-ups, is, all right, give me a couple of sit-ups. Good, so that's a, that's a crunch that he's doing, and you can build up, try to pull all the way up. That's good. Now, another thing I like is he put his hands behind his head. Now, what that's great is put your hands in front of you and kind of put your hands out. Yeah, no, like as you're going up, you know, people tend to push forward. They reach out. They reach out. See how much easier that was for him? Because you're using your momentum to pull yourself out. So don't do that. Try to keep your hands, putting them behind your head, keep them steady. Keep them still, not out in front of you. So you'll knock out five of those. Go ahead, Phil, do it. I'm just enjoying making Phil do this. Phil didn't know this morning he was going to be working out at all. But you already did this morning, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he knocked out five of those, and then you roll right over and do your plank. Do it from your, do it from your elbows. Now, the plank is great. Lift up just a little bit. Yeah, not, not too high. You want your butt high. You want to make a nice table. You want to just flatten out. And you want to hold that for as long as you can. Now, keep in mind, your body's going to want to quit. Your mind is telling you you're done. You have to overcome that. You can always do more than you think you can. So when you get to that moment to where it's hurting, you want to drop. Start counting. Start counting down from 10 or from 15. What would you say? You good? Yeah. So he's going to hold it for as long as he can. And, you know, best way to think about it, this is a break. He gets to rest right here. It's not a very comfortable rest, but he's resting. 
So he's going to hold this for as long as he can before he goes into that next round. Should we make you hold it for as long as you can? Yeah, he's fine. He'll just stay right there. So, again, it's five rounds, five sets. You have your squats, push-ups, sit-ups, and then your plank. And then you build up. You can start on your knees with everything. And even this, drop down your knees right here. You can hold that plank right there. You can hold that plank because you want to build up. If this is if you're just now getting into fitness, there is nothing wrong with that. You have to start somewhere. You cannot be afraid to do the little movements, the little changes to get going. Because I see that all the time where people are afraid to make that first step. You have to or nothing's going to change. So it all comes from changing the way you eat and then starting these movements, these exercises. Again, you can do them at home in the privacy of your own living room and get them done. Start doing them and building up. And then you go straight from that into your body squats, your push-ups, your sit-ups, and more planks for five rounds. Five sets, five rounds, and then you build and you build. And before you know it, you'll be doing 10 sets of 10 with pistols, one-arm push-ups, sit-ups, and planks. Is that good? You like that? Feels good. Yeah. It's a really good workout. And you want to build up and doing it faster and faster each time. We watched Phil do it at a very very slow pace. Um, that was obviously for a demonstration. He would, this guy's a beast, he would do it much faster, right? Yeah, guy's an animal. So you'd want to build up and do more and more. Now, Phil, you, you know what, no, no, no. I've got a few more things I want to say. Go ahead and hold a plank a little longer. I think they'd be impressed seeing you just hold that plank for just a little bit longer. All right, good. He's going to hold that. And I'm going to take a moment to, to thank Health Magazine uh, for letting me be here to share this real quick workout that uh, I think could really make a difference in a lot of people's lives. So they just start incorporating that into their, into their everyday life. And of course, I'll, I got the chance to be here because I've started working with Vitamin Shop and their Victory is Yours campaign. It's a campaign that's it's really for all of us. It's all about knowing that small steps, uh, you know, make big gains. And that, I know for me, after I was injured, it took me a while to get back into things, but I had to do it. I had to get it done. And I meet people all the time that they want to get to where they're doing more, where you have to start somewhere. Just like Phil, he's, what, are you on your knees? Mm -hmm. So now we're demonstrating the uh, beginner plank. Oh, that was good. That was very nice of him to do that because he obviously could have held it longer. Um, but yeah, you know, Vitamin Shop brought me in because we have the Victory is Yours campaign. Go and look, what, check out their social media at Vitamin Shop. Uh, again, I want to thank Health Magazine for allowing me to, to come on Facebook on their social media and share this workout. If you get a chance, go to my website, noahgalloway.com, and you can find all my, you know, go, you've showed that demonstration enough. Let's go ahead and go back up. I'm almost done, Phil. No, 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 not up. Get, your, get off your knees because he's going <laughs> to. Uh, you're good. Get out of here, Phil. Thank you. Uh, you know, go to my website, noahgalloway.com, and you can follow my social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But remember, you know, anything is possible. I know for me, getting back into fitness after I lost my arm, my leg was not easy. It was very difficult. It was challenging. But I had to start somewhere, and that's what I did. And when I'm on the go, when I'm on the run, I don't miss a chance to, to make sure that I'm eating a healthy diet and I'm exercising. And something as simple as, the, as this, I can do in my hotel room and it makes a difference. So I hope that each one of you will do that. In fact, if you're doing it, tag Health Magazine, tag Vitamin Shop, tag myself, show us that you're doing it. And you know, especially if you're incorporating your family, your friends, if you're at a park, wherever you're doing it, get it done because it all starts somewhere. So get out there and get it done.